you have brought a great uh, topic to me, uh, Diksha and Abha. Uh, welcome to Imag India. There is a transition happening from uh, IC engines to hybrids and uh, electric vehicles. You know, many many had thought that uh, the transition from IC to EV would be very very rapid and uh, we will see very less and maybe almost minimal amount of IC engines on the road. But if you see the factual scenario what's happening today in the market is that uh, uh, IC engines uh, definitely are reducing in terms of volumes. You know, every automaker is reducing uh, the uh, volume of production for IC engines, whereas the hybrids are uh, uh, getting into uh, the market and also the EVs, you know, the EVs are, uh, uh, although especially in two wheelers and the three wheelers, especially for the passenger uh, uh, vehicles and also for uh, pickup, you know, like uh, the e-commerce uh, vehicles like Amazon, Flipkart. So they are uh, in a way uh, harnessing the power of EV vehicles for transporting their uh, stuff. Uh, whereas if you, if you look at uh, the migration, uh, will take some more time, you know, I see to uh, hybrids as well as EVs and we at EMAC, we do have some sort of a reduction in terms of business for the uh, engines per se, you know, we definitely make certain components for the engine uh, part, you know, engine of a en car or engine of a truck or engine of a two-wheeler. Um, whereas, uh, I would say the impact is not so high, the reason is uh, in an automotive, there are three uh, major parts. One is the engine component, the other one is the chassis, and the, one, the other one is uh, transmission and safety. You know, so uh, EMAG is traditionally uh, quite strong with its futuristic technologies in the chassis component, chassis part, uh, the safety and the transmission part. Okay, whereas even if the engine uh, components are going to reduce uh, in the years to come we definitely have a future because these two pies of the entire automotive sector is continue to uh, will continue to grow uh, in the ev space diksha and uh, ava would you like to have a tea or a coffee uh, so i'll not have anything okay I'll how about have, you i'll have a little bit of coffee. tea tea okay okay so i'll i'll get uh, pandit ji uh, can you get uh, two teas for us thank you since you mentioned about the hybrid uh, models, I see an EV. Hmm. So I have a question here. Yeah. Uh, will the car become heavier with the usage of battery? When you uh, take a IC engine and a uh, you know let's say a hybrid and a pure uh, electric vehicle, the weight weight per se for the EV doesn't uh, increase so much. The reason is it's only a battery pack which is going to be stationed below the vehicle okay whereas in case of ic you have engine you have the en the entire ecosystem of the engine which is actually going to increase the weight curb weight of the vehicle okay and now when you come to the hybrids hybrids definitely will have certain weight because it still continues to have the uh, ic engine you know because ic ecosystem is definitely going to be there and also there will be a battery uh, you know uh, hybrids are of different varieties you know one is ic and gas ic and cng there will be a slight increase if you look at the same set of components that we produce in both the sets of engines okay now uh, emac uh, you know as i said emac has uh, about eight technologies uh, under its uh, uh, group and uh, what we have also seen is the automakers are ensuring that the overall weight of the vehicle is not uh, increasing with the change in the transformation from IC to let's say hybrid or EV. The reason I will tell you, I will give you an example of one particular uh, uh, part like a crown wheel and a diff case, you know, differential case of a vehicle and a crown uh, where earlier you had the the crown wheel and the uh, diff case nut and bolted for either a passenger car or a uh, uh, i would say heavy vehicle heavy commercial vehicle or a light commercial vehicle and the uh, 
the diff case and the crown were well uh, they, they were actually uh, nut and bolted you know they, uh, it uh, change, uh, ranges from let's say 8 12 16 24 so you can imagine each nut and bolt weighs you know if you take the uh, assembly each and nut nut and bolt weighs you know it, it adds to the weight of the entire uh, vehicle evac has got a technology called uh, uh, laser welding you know we have a laser welding technology where we weld these two parts okay so you imagine these two parts are held by the nut and bolt and now they are just uh, laser welded so the entire six sets or eight sets or 12 sets or 24 sets of nut and bolt is gone so the the weight uh, is actually reduced in the assembly when you compare it with the traditional ic engines which were produced without this particular laser technology so as we also talked about EV, yeah. uh, can you tell me what is the role of the precision component manufacturers in this? So when it comes to the electric vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, the criticality of the components per se is going to be extremely high. The reason is EV uh, vehicle as the name itself suggests has to conserve the power of the battery. Mm -hmm. So when it has to conserve the battery, the uh, assemblies uh, the parts which are uh, working the, with each other especially on the transmission have to be extremely efficient okay so that's the reason the accuracies of parts are going to be extremely critical you know in a ev uh, you take for example uh, cv joints you know constant velocity joints and uh, the other uh, you know the diff case which i explained to you just now so the uh, the precision with which we need to produce these components in an EV is much much higher than uh, the non uh, EV the uh, traditional IC engines. And uh, besides this, uh, in an EV, the safety uh, part is extremely critical. You know, uh, so the safety as well as the the braking comes in the safety system itself. So the brake components, you know, the ABS. Uh, the other elements of the braking system have to be extremely critical. So that is where EMAG comes into picture. So we produce extremely critical parts for the uh, EV ecosystem, whether it is uh, transmission, whether it is uh, braking system, whether it is uh, safety, uh, including uh, uh, in the future, the ecosystem related to the battery per se. So, we are, uh, we definitely see a lot of scope. We definitely see a lot of uh, opportunity for growth in this particular uh, spectrum of uh, automotive uh, industries. Uh, so, uh, so, we have talked about EMAP, we have talked about precision manufacturing components, yeah. we have talked about braking systems, transmissions. Yeah. Hmm. What is it at all possible to see it? I'll show you uh, something which is made out of EMAP technologies. I think you'll be happy seeing that. This is, this is my car, Skoda Octavia. Some of the very, very critical parts in this are made out of the EMAC technology, such as uh, the steering uh, system that you see, yeah. then the brakes, the, uh, the brakes, the ABS, and also the constant velocity joints, which are attached to all the four wheels. You know? So constant velocity joints are again made out of uh, EMAC technology, and we are uh, one of the very strong company which makes these critical parts mm -hmm. you know you can imagine when the car is going and uh, you know when the car is taking a curve these cv joints are very very critical to ensure that the vehicle is stable even on a uh, road which is curved mm -hmm. and also the brakes abs is needless to say it's a safety part again made out of human technology then the uh, steering that you see, mm -hmm. steering again is a very very critical part because the more efficient the steering is, it is very easy for the driver to maneuver. One thing I would like to uh, express uh, is that it's very nice that uh, youngsters like you are taking a keen interest in the manufacturing uh, and it's, it's really uh, heartening to see that uh, you are uh, at our office and you have seen uh, our technologies as well as the car uh, which is made uh, deploying EMAC technologies. Uh, thank you once again for coming and before uh, you go, my request is that you should meet and uh, interact with 
my colleague, Mr. Satish Anvekar. He is the head of technology and projects. Uh, please interact with Satish. Uh, uh, he will give you a lot of uh, perspective about the technology part of what EMAG is about. And also he will show you some of the display parts, what we are going to exhibit at uh, Imtex. They are really interesting. Please uh, uh, take the time to speak to him and interact with him. And thanks once again uh, for coming. And uh, as I said, I'm going to the meeting now. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Sir. See you at the We are here to meet you, as Gururaj sir said, that you will be telling us about Imtex 2025, what innovations we are bringing this year. First of all, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we are thrilled to be back in Imtex 2025. And we are focusing on showcasing a latest advancement in manufacturing technology, which basically offers higher efficiency, higher uh, productivity and uh, automation, integrated automation. and uh, and you are expected to see in our stall uh, our uh, modular standard machine, a VL4. It's a vertical turning center with the integrated automation. And also one of the new product in India market, it's a WPG7, okay. which is a cylindrical grinding machine. And uh, you can also, our visitors can also uh, uh, see a different uh, product range from EMAG and uh, which is from the different technology, such as we have a different technology in our, in our portfolio. We have uh, laser system, electrochemical machining and uh, complete gear manufacturing solutions. And also you can uh, engage with our technology expert all the way from Germany who will be available uh, at, in our stall and who can answer your questions and uh, yes, and they can also give you in-depth knowledge about our each product from each technology. And, and definitely our customers can discover how our solution or product will be a benefit to their business. We learned that EMAC provides eight different technologies. One can be yours. Take your time and visit EMAC at Imtex 2025.